That means if you are starting from state A and you are moving on to state B, there are various paths to go from state A to state B. You can go it like this, you can go like this. Now one of the path will be reversible. It can be any one of these four. There are many. There can be many other paths as well. But considering these four, one of the path, considering one of these four to be reversible, then the amount of heat exchange during the process will be different for all the processes, for the, all the kind of steps you are taking, all the kind of paths you are following. Now, dq will differ depending upon step. So what we do, we take one particular path and that reversible path, because reversible path will be unique. You can reach from A to B through reversible process through a unique pathway. There won't be a two path. So there will be one path and corresponding to the one path, there will be a unique amount of heat exchange. And unique amount of heat exchange will make a, give a unique value of entropy change. So for that reason, and for some other reasons that we'll discuss later, this DQ is taken as DQ reversible. Now we'll get into the discussion of, we'll get into the whole mathematic, mathematical details later. But for the time being, let's get a feel of this equation. What this equation is telling you. First of all, you have to observe that change in entropy is proportional to change in heat. And if dq is positive, then change in entropy is also positive. Now, as per our sign convention, if heat is given to the system, that heat is considered as positive. The dq is the small amount of heat that is given to the system. If heat is given to the system, then entropy will increase. That's point number one to be noticed. If heat is taken out from the system, that small amount of heat being out, taken out from the system, that the, as per our sign convention, that dq will be negative. So if you are taking heat out of the system, then entropy will decrease. Fine. So if you are giving heat, you are increasing entropy. If you are taking away heat, you are decreasing entropy. And the reason why it should be like this is when you are giving heat, and we are talking about entropy of the system. We are not talking about entropy of the whole universe or the surrounding around it. So at present, we are concerned with whatever is within our box. So when you are giving heat to the system, suppose you had heat somewhere and you are giving that heat to the system, that, that heat is becoming more dispersed. And that heat will be given to all the molecules of gases or liquid or whatever you are having inside the system. That heat will be distributed. So there will be some diffusion of energy. There will be some diffusion of heat. So that's why the entropy must increase. Okay. Now this entropy, change in entropy is proportional to temperature. That means if your temperature is high, if you have, in, let's take two cases. This is at T1, this is at T2. Suppose this is at 100 Kelvin. Now, mind you, this temperature has to be in Kelvin. Don't take it in degree Celsius. In all the formulas where T appear, you have to take SI unit. And SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. Suppose you have two systems like this. To this, you gave 10 Joule of heat. You also gave 10 Joule of heat to this. Now, ask, look at this equation. And let's try to find out the entropy change. Now, DS is DQ. DQ is the change in heat. Exchange, heat exchange. Now, if considering temperature to be constant, then the heat given here, heat is being given, so entropy, ds will be positive, dq will be positive. ds, change in entropy is 10. dq is 10 upon t. t here is 100. This is 0.1. In this case, ds will be amount of heat given dq by t, which is 1000. So in this case, we have 0 0.01. Now you can see entropy change in this case is higher entropy change in this case is lower. Now, why it should be like this is, suppose because the temperature is high, so the molecules, the motion of the molecules are already very vigorous. So the energy content is already very high. The energy content is here less. So now when you're adding some amount of heat, then the change of the state in this case will be more pronounced than the change of the state in this case. Because it is already having very high energy and a small amount of energy added to it will not change the state sufficiently. And this, mind you, this is DS. This is change in entropy. That is, that meaning, this is change in the distribution of energy. So whatever energy distribution was previously, that will not have much change when you add a small amount of heat. When the energy is less, then the change will be much faster. And that's why the ds value is higher in this case. 
This is how we can physically feel this. But I'll show you the mathematical proof of why ds should be like this and why dq we are taking as q reversible. Fine. But for the time being, this ds is equal to dq reversible by t. You have to have faith in this statement for two reasons. But physically, we have felt that this should work. And second, and more importantly, I'm telling you this. So you have to believe it. You believe in me, don't you? So this is what ds is. Now, uh, now keep track of what we are doing. We were looking for a method or for mathematical formula or a physical quantity that will tell us whether the process will be spontaneous or not. Now, this is entropy. We have defined a term entropy like this. Now, change in entropy, if that is positive, then the process would be spontaneous. If the change in entropy is not positive, then the process will not be spontaneous. And the change in entropy gives us an idea of the change in the distribution of energy. It has nothing to do with the disorder in the system. If the disorder is coming with the change or the diffusion of energy, that's okay. But disorder has nothing to do with change in energy. Disorder may come along with change in energy, but we are looking for change in energy or diffusion of energy. That's the motivation. Keep that clear in your mind. Now, let us revisit this situation in which our ice cup of coffee or tea that was cooling down. It is hot and it is cooling down. We don't like it, but this is spontaneous. It will happen. Let's see mathematically now. Phys previously, we had a physical, we didn't have we didn't have a physical mathematical proof of this that this process is spontaneous we are feeling and uh, we were observing and i gave you a reason why to feel that this is uh, spontaneous because energy is being diffused now that was more of abstract let's talk more concretely let's talk of in terms of mathematics why this has to be spontaneous now from this equation you will come to know that this process will be spontaneous reason being suppose this is hot Suppose the temperature of this uh, ice is 100 degrees Celsius or that is 373 Kelvin and the temperature of surrounding is 25 degrees Celsius or let's say it's 27 degrees Celsius that is 300 Kelvin. Fine. Now if this cools down it is giving some energy. Suppose it gave out 100 Joule of heat. Now look at this formula. This is ds is equal to dq reversible by t. Fine. Now, if we have to deal with the change in entropy of the cup, then the change of entropy is minus 100 because it has it is giving heat. So dq is negative as per our sign convention. Remember? So dq is negative because it's giving out heat. So minus 100, the white temperature, 373. So there has been decrease, decrement in the entropy of your cup and the whole system containing that coffee or tea. If you look at the surrounding, surrounding has taken up heat. How much? The amount which was given up by the coffee or the tea. So 100 joule of energy has been given out and that has been taken by the surrounding. So if you look from the surrounding point of view, surrounding has gained this energy. For, for surrounding, this 100 will be positive because it's gaining. And the temperature of surrounding is 300 Kelvin. Fine. So the unit of entropy is Joule per Kelvin. Now, if you look at the total as a system containing the surround cup and the whole atmosphere around as your system, if you look for the total entropy change, you'll have to do this plus this. Now, 373 being bigger, this will be a smaller fraction. 300 being smaller, this will be a larger fraction. So this is larger than this and this is negative. So this whole thing is positive.